Leveling in halls for new players can sometimes be very confusing and frustrating, making a lot of them turn back and never play again. But with the new 0.4 update, farming can be done very easily, solo or in parties, depending on what you prefer. So, here are 5 tips that will hopefully help you level faster and better in Horde. Starting out, you have nothing to use except for your attack spell. The first item you'll drop in the game has a high chance to be a weapon for your class. But after leveling, the drops get randomized, making it very hard for new players to have good damage. Make sure to always check the merchant at spawn for good weapons, as it can be a game changer when leveling. Here is a list of weapon levels to know when you can switch to a higher tier. And as a side note, make sure to use your health potions or mana potions to your advantage, as you can buy tier 1 potions for very cheap at a trader in spawn. A lot of times we get to put points into our stats when leveling up, because you will only notice that you have unused stat points if your character panel is open. Choosing stat points is very easy, generally there are only three types of stat points people go for. 1. More DPS or healing. 2. More item find. 3. Survivability. For more DPS or healing, you will have to choose your bloodline stat, which is the stat that gives you more min-max for your class. For warrior, it's strength. For mage, it's intelligence. For archer, it's dexterity. For shaman, it's wisdom. These are the stats to put points into if you want to do damage. To kill monsters the quickest. Don't worry though, you can still reset your stat points at the sage in spawn if you ever feel the need to change them. A huge issue for new players is finding a good place to farm. In my experience it is easiest to farm monsters at your same level, or just one level above you, as they give the most XP without being too hard. As you can see, monsters 2 levels above your level will take 50% reduced damage, monsters 3 levels above your level will take 75 reduced damage, monsters 4 levels above your level will take 90% reduced damage, monsters 5 plus levels above your level will take 99% reduced damage and reduced XP. Monsters 10 plus levels above your level will give you greatly reduced XP, meaning almost nothing. Meaning that even if you farm with a party, make sure that monsters are never 10 levels above you, otherwise it's a waste of your and your party's time. Here is the monster level maps, which can also be found in the wiki for hordes, link in the description. You can press M to open your map in-game and find a spot you want to farm in. If there are two spots with the same level monsters, make sure to find a spot with more monsters, plus more golem types, as they give you more XP and drops, and also a spot with less archers, as to make it harder to farm. Now that you know where to level, you will also need to know how to kill monsters faster. There are over 50 plus spells and holds spread across all four classes, with each one having different damage, healing output, increasing defenses, or just buffs in general to help you and your party farm faster. If you choose to farm solo though, getting AoE spells is a must, because you want to kill all monsters in the same spot together, to get all their XP the fastest way possible. Here's a list of all the AoE spells for the different classes used for farming. These are my recommended AoE spells to use, but remember to still choose some other spells to assist you in farming. There are so many ways you can farm in hordes, but here are some of the most common ways I'd recommend you to farm with. The warrior uses mostly whirlwind, crescent swipe and centrifugal to farm. All you have to do is kite all the mobs and run around in a circle and take turns using your spells when they're off cooldown. Make sure the monsters always have bleeding stacks on them, preferably 3 stacks, which is the max, to do the highest amount of damage over time while your cooldowns are up. If you are low on HP, you can use Relentless Cry or Bulwark to heal yourself up again. If those don't work, you can always chug down an HP pot as well. Also, keep an eye out on your mana. The mage has a few ways to farm, but for simplicity's sake, let's just use Chilling Radiance and Frostcall, 
paired up with a damage and haste boost from Hypothermic Frenzy. It gets the job done and is generally very low risk. You start by pulling mobs together and then you get in range for Chilling Radiance. Use your Hypothermic Frenzy right before you use Chilling Radiance in order to get more damage out of it and then get a bit of distance and start using Frost Call on the monsters. If you're ever low on HP, just go into Ice Block or drink an HP potion. However, make sure to always have enough mana as Frost Call can be very draining. Archer is slightly more trickier and has only recently been buffed to make it easier. First up, start with a precise shot that has Serpent Arrow and Poison Arrows attached to it. Then start pulling all the other mobs. If the monsters are too close, use a dash or preferably dash jump to get away from the monsters and cast another precise shot to keep the poison arrows active on the monsters. If you don't know how to dash jump, then you can check out another video I, I made that explains some movement tricks with each classes. Link in the description. After that, use volley and make sure you're facing the monsters to hit them all. After that, you just repeat until the monsters are all dead. If you have any HP, just use the Vampiric Arrow, or drink an HP Potion. Farming as a Shaman can sometimes be confusing at first, but once you know the rules for the spells, it gets very straightforward. To farm, you need to have Plogsburger and Soul Harvest to kill the monsters faster. Plogsburger increases your haste and also allows your decay to bounce on other enemies if your decay hits a already decayed target. Soul Harvest increases the duration of the decay on all targets affected by it, and gives you mana back as well. The higher tier the soul harvest is, the longer the duration gets increased on the decay, making it a lot easier to keep your decay on all monsters. So farming shaman probably requires the least amount of thinking, as you just run in a circle and shoot your decay at a already decayed target, and keep using soul harvest as soon as it's off cooldown. Also, keep a revitalize on yourself at all times, to make sure your health doesn't run out. It doesn't need to be high tier at all, even at level 45 some people just use tier 1 revitalize to farm and keep themselves alive. At low levels you'll probably have to use mana potions before you get Mimir's Wealth to replenish mana. Also a tip for decreasing Mimir's cooldown is to use Kanan now. To increase your haste and then use Mimir's Well while Kanan is active to slightly decrease the cooldown timer for Mimir's Well. And that's it for 5 tips on how to level faster in hordes. Hopefully you learned something new to help you on your journey. Thank you for watching.